one stream. That's all it took for me to get every single achievement in Parappa the Rapper. And not the modern PS4 or PSP version, absolutely not. I did this in the original PlayStation version using the Retro Achievements website. With 27 different achievements to get, over a decade of experience to show off, and a strong desire to make this a short script so I don't have to crunch for 10 hours a day to get this video done, this is how I pulled it off. Let's start from the top, shall we? Parappa the Rapper's achievements act more like a set of four different challenges for each of the stages, with a few other smaller achievements to get along the way. As such, I can immediately knock out the first set of six achievements right here, as all you need to do for them is complete each stage normally. For stage three, however, not only did I get the normal achievement for beating it, but I also got the Flea Market Rap Master achievement for beating it without losing points. I'll get more into this later, but trust me when I say that getting this now was surprising, since this type of achievement is probably the hardest in the entire game to get. With the easy achievements out of the way, I then tackled this quick achievement that requires you to go from awful to cool during a song. This is, obviously, easiest to do on the first stage, since rhythmically spamming the one button per line the instructor gives at the beginning of the song will typically bring you up to cool mode more often than not. But that achievement simply needs you to get into cool mode, which while it can be a pain depending on the song, you'll eventually find a pattern in each song that consistently gets you into cool mode. This next set of six achievements, on the other hand, requires you to stay in cool mode until the end of the song. And if you think staying in cool mode sounds pretty easy, then uh, hi, welcome to your first experience with Parappa the Rapper, and prepare to be baffled at some of the design decisions on display here. Staying in cool mode, it turns out, is unreasonably difficult due to how this game is programmed. Wow, that's starting to look like a pattern around here. Cool Mode lets Parappa freely spew out a selection of lines from the current song he's in by mashing each of the buttons, which sounds just as pleasant as you imagine it does. To counteract this, you'd think that the key to staying in Cool Mode would be to stick to the song's rhythm as closely as possible, and to come up with creative ways to splice the lines together so that it sounds like Parappa is actually freestyling. I mean, he's a rapper, that's kind of what they do, right? Well, in Parappa the Rapper, take any reasonable assumptions you have about any of this game's systems and throw them in the garbage because that assumption is wrong. What you're actually supposed to do is mindlessly mash buttons. Your goal in each stage's cool mode is to spam each of the buttons in a random order in a quick but consistent rhythm, but not too quick or else suddenly you just aren't cool anymore. How much mashing is too much mashing? Good question. I don't think the game even knows the answer to that because I swear the point system in this game in particular is absolutely absolutely busted. More on that later. Generally, these achievements aren't that bad. Sure, the game will screw you over at least once, especially this goddamn onion and his need for you to- But you'll eventually get lucky enough and get all of the cool mode achievements. But that's not all you'll have to do in cool mode, oh no. Welcome to the third set of challenges, with these achievements tasking you with getting either 3,000 or 4,000 points depending on the stage. Make no mistake, these these require cool mode to get even remotely close to the point total you need. And even then, some of these stages are so picky in cool mode that I could only get the achievement by literally cheesing the point system. Take the third stage, for example. For reasons unknown to man or god, staying in cool mode in this stage in particular seems far, far stricter than the others. For my first few attempts, my style of button mashing that worked fine for the first two stages suddenly knocked me out of cool mode entirely. How the hell are you supposed to even stay in cool mode long enough, let alone get the crap ton of points you need from there? Well, this Retro Achievements user managed to crack the code and wrote a comment under the achievement. And the method to pull this off is, frankly, ridiculous. Their strategy was to set a metronome for 200 BPM and then just press one button in time with that metronome. I ended up having to bump it up to 215 BPM to get the points I needed, but the simple fact that the winning strategy is making Parappa sound like he's chanting some slogan from some weird cult is concerning. If that doesn't tell you how fucked the programming for this game is, I don't know what will.
Well, actually, that's a lie. I think I know exactly what will help inform you. Stage four, featuring the chicken, requires the same amount of points to get the achievement and features the same problem. Getting into and even staying in cool mode is no problem at all. However, I couldn't quite crack the 3000 point barrier with my normal strategy. Clearly, using all of the buttons available to me wasn't the solution, and this achievement in particular had no comments under it to help me. So I was on my own this time. I did eventually come up with a solution and I have no words for this one. Do you want to know the optimal strategy for beating stage four with 3000 points or higher? Observe and see how Parappa, the rat master, gets it done. That's right, your ears are not deceiving you. The best way that I found to get a high amount of points in this stage is to make Parappa say the word PUSSY over and over again. Soak it in, guys. This is the closest Parappa is ever gonna get to becoming a real rapper. But jokes aside, just let that sink in for a moment. You are encouraged, once again, to spam the same absolute filth without deviation in order to get the highest amount of points possible. If this doesn't tell you how absolutely hosed the programming for this game is, Christ, you're hard to convince. Thankfully, the last two stages weren't nearly as hard as the previous two were. Stage 5's main problem was me needing to find the pattern to get into cool mode as soon as possible. And with the help of stream chat, I was able to do just that and get the achievement pretty easily. For stage 6, I ended up with well over the necessary point total by the end. I just needed to make sure I spanned my usual two buttons enough to make sure the audience knows Parappa needs to use the bathroom. I gotta be, I gotta be. With that, the third set is done, and it's time for the fourth and final set. These six achievements require you to beat each of the stages without losing points even once, and without going into cool mode. That means that you need this game's scoring system to act with consistency. And expecting this game to be consistent in how it grades you is like putting a blindfold on someone and expecting them to be able to see. The first three stages were, once again, not really that bad at all since there aren't many inputs, and the timing seems to be way more generous. Hell, I got the one for stage three on accident my first time through, so that should tell you everything about how easy this was to get. It was when I got to the chicken that the problems began. I had several instances of doing nearly identical inputs and being given wildly different results. Sure, I was slightly earlier on a couple of my inputs, but surely that wouldn't constitute a difference of a hundred points, right? But that's just how strict this game is with how it grades you. And it's a complete nightmare. But that wasn't even the worst part. This was. M-I-X the flower to the bowl. M-I-X the flower to the bowl. You don't need me. Uh, are you kidding me? I did the line normally! Suddenly, I started randomly getting cool mode when I simply played the line normally. And need I remind you, getting cool mode is banned for this achievement. So let me get this straight, Parappa. When I want cool mode, I have to work to get it. But when I don't want it, I get it extremely fucking easily? Yeah, that sounds like just my luck. This is exactly what I had to struggle with throughout my time getting these achievements. For almost an entire hour of trial, error, and chicken. Attempt after attempt failed, either because the game decided I suddenly messed up in an extremely minor way, or the game decided I was suddenly really cool for no reason. But after some experimenting and trying many different things, I found the sweet spot. In order to both keep your rap from being considered bad, while also keeping it bad enough to not be considered cool, you have to do something like this. You still have to follow the line pretty loosely, but instead of copying the instructor's timing exactly, you instead press the button on every beat of the song. If the line ends up being too short, just repeat the last button of the line until the bar ends. Doing this is still kind of inconsistent, and I ended up losing a couple more times in my pursuit of victory, but it was this strategy that eventually let me beat the song without losing points and bag the achievement. And isn't it fitting that the only 
only way for me to win was actually to freestyle, but I had to freestyle in the most boring, stale way possible. This stage and this entire point system is an absolute shit show. But hey, at least the song's pretty good. And while this strategy carried me all the way to the end of these achievements, I got one more punch in the gut afterwards. After I finally made it to stage 5, someone in the stream chat told me that for these don't lose points achievements, when you have zero points, you can actually skip the first few parts of the song. Because of the way the achievement is programmed, you don't technically lose points if you do badly with zero points. Thus, you can simply fast forward through the first five lines of the song to drop all the way down to awful, then as long as you don't mess up from there, you'll still get the achievement. I really, really wish I knew this while I was battling the chicken, but this definitely seems a little like cheating. I did it anyway because I was in the mindset of taking every advantage I could get, but I'd honestly like to see this patched if it's possible. It really defeats the purpose of the achievements in my opinion. After learning this, it took a little bit longer for me to actually get the achievements because, well, you know how this game can be by now. But I eventually got the two remaining master achievements. All that was really left was this achievement, which requires you to sell all the items in stage 3. To do this, all you have to do is do these four specific lines in the song normally, which will play this animation each time. Do that for all of them, and you'll get the achievement easily. Then, back at stage select, all you have to do is select the new option in the middle, and... Alright, cool. Yay. And time. Time. Oh, and time. And time. And time. Three Wait. hours oh, almost four. Wow. Really about four. Now look at this cool 100% reward. It's funny. I was expecting this shorter video to be way more boring than it turned out to be. But it's actually this game's jank that I have to thank for making it more entertaining. Plus, no matter what, I'm always going to love this game for being a really unique rhythm game even almost 20 years later. Shoutouts to Mr. Ownership for the set, and here's to hoping the two sequels are even more fun than this set was. But now, I'm nice and energized to tackle another longer set. So I'm gonna get to work work on that. Thanks for watching. The link to the Retro Achievements page for this game will be in the description, as well as my Ko-Fi link if you want to support what I do, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh -huh.